Distinguished guests and dear friends, very warm greetings to you all. I deeply regret that I cannot be with you in person at the launch of this important report, but I am very pleased to join you through this message. I wish to convey my heartfelt congratulations to the African Child Policy Forum and the African Union for the organization of today's event. And I would like to salute the African Committee on the Rights and Welfare of the Child. The launch of this crucial report marks a very special year for children, the 25th anniversary of the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child. Under the Convention, children are not simply passive beneficiaries of actions or recipients of charity. They are subjects of rights and they are agents of change. Governments are required to take children seriously and to promote their rights as a distinct priority in laws and policies, in budget decisions, and in daily actions across all levels of administration. One key dimension of this agenda is the imperative to safeguard the right of the child to freedom from violence. This right lies at the heart of the Convention. It is inherent to the human dignity of the child and it stands as a crucial indicator of how genuine the commitment of any nation is to safeguarding children's human rights. While many achievements have been made across the African continent to uphold the protection of children's rights, this report highlights that, sadly, violence remains a pervasive phenomenon that blights the life of millions of girls and boys. Time and time again, we read about the detrimental impact that violence has on the lives of children, their families and communities. Violence has serious and long-lasting consequences. It compromises child development and it increases the risk of poor health, poor school performance and long-term welfare dependency. It is often associated with poverty and deprivation and it acts as a break on the potential of individuals and nations to develop. Yet violence can be prevented and children's protection can be given a true chance of succeeding. As articulated in the African report Call to Action, steady efforts are, however, needed. Firstly, all governments should develop and promote a national, child-centered, integrated, multidisciplinary and also time-bound strategy to prevent and respond to all forms of violence against children. Secondly, an explicit legal ban on violence against children should be enacted as a matter of urgency, accompanied by detailed measures for implementation and for effective enforcement. Thirdly, policy initiatives and legal measures need to be accompanied by greater efforts to address the social acceptance of violence against children. Governments must recognize the crucial importance of collecting disaggregated data on violence against children and to match this recognition with adequate policy making and support. Moreover, there must be an ongoing commitment to children's meaningful participation. Dear friends, as discussions on the post-2015 Global Development Agenda intensify, the African Report on Violence Against Children is a critical and also timely stock take of how far African states have come toward ensuring children's protection. And crucially, what still needs to be done to ensure that every African child enjoys a childhood free from all forms of violence, including harmful practices such as early and forced marriage. Indeed, children's freedom from violence in all its forms and manifestations is indispensable for the sustainable social and economic development of African nations. Freedom from violence is critical to achieving a sustainable future in which every child can grow up healthy, resilient, well-educated, culturally sensitive and effectively protected from neglect, abuse and exploitation. Violence against children must therefore be made a distinct priority and a cross-cutting concern in the new Global Development Agenda beyond 2015. As a global community, we have a golden opportunity to make a difference and achieve lasting change. It's an ethical and human rights imperative, 
and it's also a matter of good governance and sound economics. I'm confident you will join hands with me in this advocacy endeavor. Dear friends, I feel truly inspired by the group of outstanding experts and child rights defenders supporting the preparation of this report and engage in its follow-up. We must consolidate the gains that have been made across the continent, grasp the lessons we have learned, and redouble efforts to strengthen national systems of protection for children. African children will lead the societies of tomorrow. Let us therefore work together to safeguard their right to be protected from violence and ensure an Africa fit for children. This is, indeed, a perfect gift to bring to the 25th anniversary of the African Charter next year. I wish you a very successful launch and look forward to joining hands with you all to implement the report's recommendations and call to action. Many thanks.